Today is 14th of March, 4.45. Market open positive and trade upwards largely throughout the day, particularly in the morning sessions. And uh, currently it's up 25.3185. Volume is actually has picked up over the last two sessions. Notice actually we have an increase in volume in yesterday's sessions and today we have followed through. I'd like to see test the resistance at 3200. Support right now is actually at the previous resistance at 3160. We have a more significant support at 3140. Let's take a look at US markets. This is S&P 500. We have very nice break here above this resistance level. Before that we have a pullback. And they have been raising up, so there's no meaningful pullback. So even if we pull back, generally the market is still strong. If you take a look at S&P 500, uh, rather Nasdaq, we see also very strong move, but uh, at the resistance level, there'll be a reactions. So I'd like to see eventually break above this recent high here of 16,449. So this bar itself is perfectly normal. It's a sign of strength if you can continue to trade sideways. This is 10-year Treasury yield. If you notice, actually, you have been trading within a bullish channels, and right now it's actually bouncing off the lower channel. So any outward move may have some knee-jerk reactions on the equity markets, but so far the US market has been quite resilient. Now, one of the concerns is actually the brand crude. If you notice, brand crude has been actually hovering just below the resistance at about 84. In the previous sessions, we do see a strong upward move. Um, now, re what will remain to be seen is the catalyst to actually take out this high here at about $25. So, this trigger itself generally will actually be a concern uh, because crude oil itself is a driver for inflation so if any break on the upside uh, it may actually cause some of the equity markets to actually uh, pull back but nevertheless we like to see what happens uh, especially US market has been actually holding very well let's take a look at uh, some of the stock we've been discussing this is uh, for the Empire very strong out mobile and have been consolidating for quite some time. Volume has been low, which is generally positive. I'd like to wait for it to complete consolidation and take out the recent high here of uh, this resistance here, 147. Franken. Very strong upward move followed by pullback. At this point in time, we have the big depot set up to buck out back high here. It's at 167. Venture. Mentioned previously that this stock was actually a counter trend move but managed to trade above the 200 days. If you notice, actually, it's been trading sideways and uh, the last couple of uh, bar has, has been small body, and so this is uh, something we like to actually look for. Uh, what we are looking out for is actually a range expansion. Now these are the major moving averages. If you notice, actually, it managed to clear the 200 days. So I'd like to see eventually break on the upside and the 200 days may follow through. Apart from these two tech stocks, the rest of the tech stocks are generally weak. Uh, UMS has a very deep pullback. Again, mentioned before, it's probably better to trade UMS on a weekly charts. So this is what happens very sharp retracements and this is a very obvious resistance so it probably will take some time so anyway the better bet is franklin's and uh, venture am is weak so after the severe sell downs it's actually consolidating so you probably take some time before the normalizations uh, can complete uh, whatever the case may be, it is a weak stock, so our uh, focus will be more on short rather than to go long. Now, we discussed Yanzi Xiao for some time, and unfortunately, we do have severe sell down. So, this is what happens very nice upward move here, and the pullback on very low volume, nice break, and at the resistance level, we have shallow pullback, which is nice, and we have a very nice break. Unfortunately, what happened was that uh, there are news of um, US. 
unions petitions um, the government strategy study into the unfair practice purportedly unfair practice by the Chinese shipbuilder so Yang Zijiang being one of the major shipbuilders um, have seen some retracement so this is probably in reactions to the news uh, but today we have very high volume but managed to actually uh, find tractions is holding at this level so we'd like to see a bounce from here now if the stock continue to move down then the bag will be off Dynamic. Very nice uh, move here. Pull back on low volume and we've managed to actually break out. Notice over here we have a two doji. This is indication of a rest. And we have a nice break. And today we have very nice follow through. Uh, you just have to be very careful because it's approaching this congestion area here. So need to closely manage. Aztec. This stock actually power up very strongly. So we like to actually wait for the stock to consolidate. Now usually with a move like this, uh, stock is likely to consolidate. So you need some patience. And during consolidations, we just like to see a drop off in the volume and eventually look for a break on the upside. Olam is a very obvious example that the stock is actually staging reversal and approaching very obvious resistance. So this is what happened. Staging a reversal and this is a very obvious resistance level. I uh, like to look for a decisive break above this high here of 108. Sambudara perhaps is waiting for a catalyst to actually trigger a break. So this is what happened, a very nice rounding pattern here. And uh, after making a high here, we have a pullback. Notice today pullback volume is actually low. This is nice. Uh, this is a big depot set up low for break above this high here of 785. I'd like to see it take out this high here, All right, which is going inside with this level here, 785. Jaffa, there were actually rumors of a potential privatization exercise. And here we have a very nice gap and nice follow through. Today, trade inside bar, like the pullback. You need to pull back low for setup, low for eventual break above 275. Likewise, for wing time, there is uh, speculations that the stock may be taken private. So, we have a very strong run ups, and obviously, when it's too fast, too soon, you need some time to rest. So, this is what we have seen. Notice the volume is actually drying up. We we'll prefer if the stocks can actually trade on the upper end of this range rather than the bottom end. But nevertheless, this gap provides some kind of support. Wait for it to complete the consolidation and take out this high here of 148. If you take a look at the other property stocks, they are extremely weak. Uh, this is UOL, very violent sell downs and followed by a weak throwback. How do you know it's weak because the volume is actually not high? Uh, I'd like to see what happens. Usually, it will be the directional downward move. More likely, we do see a couple of swings right, where the stock try to normalize and eventually we look for the break on the downside. CDL again it's extremely weak but you have violent throwback so this violent throwback itself is not something we should uh, just look for opportunity to shop but because what happened was that when it's so strong and the pullback is shallow it may have some leg to move upwards so it may well break this high here we just have to wait for the market to unfold 602 now, if this trade, if it's taken on the upside, on, on the break on the upside, is really hit and run because this stock is extremely weak. So, it is really a counter trend move. 